But, but if I rang you up and said, look, I found this beautiful place on holiday, what would your advice uh, be, uh, be around? Well, look, uh, Chris, it's a, it's a really good question and we come across that fairly regularly. The thing that I work with my clients on is I work on the basis that there are six reasons to invest and you've got to have the reason to determine whether or not you should be investing in that particular property. The first reason, as I see it, and not necessarily in order, but generally it is, and that is the, the growth. Has it got growth? And are you buying it for growth? Second reason, supplementary income. Is that property going to produce this kind of supplementary income that justifies foregoing the growth that supplementary income properties provide? The third reason is tax. Do you want to buy it for tax? Is tax a component of the decision making process? Third reason is cash flow. Do you want to buy it just because that property fits a cash flow requirement? One of the weaker reasons, but certainly comes into it as part of the process and determine whether that property is right or wrong. The next reason is value add. Are you buying it because you want to add value to it, develop it, renovate it, change its purpose? And finally, the, the last reason, which is the reason you're coming to, is lifestyle. And that, in some cases, is a very legitimate, legitimate reason to buy a property for lifestyle. At the same time, you've still got to work the numbers, make sure you can afford it, and then the tax comes into it uh, in terms of what Lisa was talking about. And uh, tax is a lesser reason for lifestyle because often the tax considerations are less because you can only claim the tax, as Lisa will tell you, when the property is available for rent, not when you're living in it and staying in it. Mm -hmm. So, very interesting uh, thought process. May I actually add an email?